Okay, I'm just gonna document down how I do my cutting of stick right at my own home. Of course, I do need some tools along the way. Uh, I'm gonna cut three sticks though. Uh, one of it, I actually removed the grip already. And that's uh, my daughter's stick. I'm gonna cut also two more sticks for myself. If you do take note that I um, have broke a stick recently. So I'll show you the cutting of stick. Um, how do I cut, uh, how to settle or work along tricky caps along the way. I'll talk to you along the way as we do this. Let's go. Okay, this is one of the shafts that I need to cut out. Part of the cutting process is to remove the grip first. Okay, it is an inevitable process because you need to cut somewhere on top. So you need to remove the whole strip of grip first um, before you do the next step. So I'm just going to remove the grip and we'll talk again. Once the grip is out, what you need to settle next is to remove the cap. Um, the caps of off dog and the cap of, this is my daughter's one which is Sao Ming. Um, the caps are of different kinds. This is the Sao Ming one, you can see that there's a nail that's being nailed in. There's three nails that's being nailed in, whereas for ox dog, they make it a lot more convenient where, whereby it's being screwed in. So all you need to do is a screwdriver to screw it out. But for this, it's a lot more trickier because you need to literally kind of just dig it out, dig it out um, individually. And that can be a bit dangerous um, because if you do it wrongly, um, in the past I did it, I dig it out and then I accidentally cut myself. And I shall remove the cap. All you need is just a screwdriver and you just screw it out. You can see it's already coming out already. Okay, and one down. Next one. Okay, with a little bit of strength, oh, it comes out. So this is a very convenient way to settle these uh, cap issues. There are situations whereby the hole, uh, somehow, one way or another, right, it got too big. And when it's being screwed in, there's um, sort of little to no way to screw it up. So that can be a potential problem as well. So when that happens, um, no matter how you screw, it, it doesn't just comes out. So you will need some digging and then probably a plier to pull them out. But most of the cases for ox dog, it is as convenient as this. For the Sao Ming, I'll try my best. But I gotta be careful while showing you this. Let's go. Yep, so another form of screwdriver whereby it's a bit of a flat head. So with this flat head, what you're trying to do or what I need to do is try to try to dig it in and then try to uh, dig out the <coughs> dig out the what? Dig out the stapler that's being stapled in. So like I said, it is a much more tedious process. Um, if done well, it can be done within say minutes. If not done well, the minutes will probably triple or quadruple the time. So this is one nail out. I'm just going to continue the, the next few. <coughs> okay, the second one is out. Now the last one is a bit tricky though because of the blade. Um, yeah, I cannot place the, the stick flat. So. This is the hardest of the three because the blade is in the way. So I need to just be a bit more careful. And voila! Okay, all three is out. Um, there comes another potential problem also for certain caps. I'm not so sure if this being glued inside. Uh, I've never actually cut a salmon stick before. So let's try one, two, three. It's unmovable. It's unmovable, so there must be something inside that is keeping the. Oh no, it's, thank god. Okay, so what happens is in this case scenario, they use a double sided tape, right, to tape it around. Inside is clean and clear. Whereas there are some uh, brands whereby they put glue inside, and when it's glued inside, you probably need again this, this sort of a flathead screwdriver to sort of dig it in. Just to scrape it a bit, hair dryer to, to melt out the glue, and then you gotta try to then force it up. Okay, so um, this is the remove shaft. I'm just gonna continue the rest while I explain to you the next step thereafter, which is to do the measurements 
uh, before you cut your steak. Okay, now I have the three shafts being cut out. This steak is 101 cm. I know my length is 96, so it's just simple math. 101 minus 96, I need to cut 5 cm. Where's my ruler? To measure the 5 cm, a simple ruler will do, but start from the end of the shaft. Um, a few ways to do it. Number one, if you do have a marker, okay, you can then uh, 5 cm mark it out. Or say if you do have a pen knife, you can also just you know put a bit of carving at the side to indicate where you wanna cut. Although that that again might be a bit more dangerous. If you do have a marker, what you need, all you need to do is just mark it out. Um, there's no marker though. Shit, I have to get. A marker with ink basically something just to indicate a mark where you need the stick to be cut okay because the marker is black you probably won't be able to see so i'll just continue on to measure everything and once done i'll get on to the cutting phase once you've done the, the the marking what you need to do is to cut it out so how to cut it out dun, 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 dun. yes you definitely need a saw so if you are a young kid that's looking at this video, obviously you might need the help of an adult to, to do this. So try not to do this alone. Um, but if you are someone in let's say your teenager's years and you have like what I have, which is uh, a bit of a design and technology um, background expertise, then sewing might be just uh, an easy task for you. Okay, but nonetheless, uh, what those at the shops would do is they usually have a bit of a clamp to clamp onto the, the, the stick and etc etc but with me doing this for quite a number of times I just simply need something to hold on uh, strong steady hands um, I'm just gonna lean on top of it and I'm just gonna, gonna cut, start sawing okay so the, the, the marking that you just made I'll use the saw to further um, Saw it inwards again <clears throat> just to create that starting point. So, just to show you what uh, it's like, so you can see already that's, that's the starting point um, just above the A. This one, okay. So, I already really saw it in ready. <clears throat> then, what's next is just to keep my hand steady and try to saw it down as straight as he can as I can be. Okay and go. first one that's out so once this is being cut out it's kind of deemed useless already so you can see all this carbon fiber not so you can see that these are the carbon fibers um, yeah that's why it's called carbon fiber stick but anyway <coughs> later the next step will be cap it off um, which is also might be a tedious task so the cutting can be actually very fast but the whole process of cutting it it, it takes steps uh, along the way um, one stick down, two more sticks to go. Okay, I'm done with the cutting of stick, are the remains. What's next is simply to reverse the whole process. So first, um, the, the, the one with the Xiaomi. Um, not so sure if you can see, you see it's actually very loose. Okay, because the shaft um, it is, is thick at the top and then as it goes down, it, 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 it thins out. So with the cutting of the stick, right, it means now this is actually very loose. If this is shaky and you, let's say, for example, I don't do anything about it. I just cover this and I just grip it off. What happens is this will move and in time to come, the whole thing will just snap out of it. And then the whole grip is, is being destroyed in the process as well. So um, one way to solve it is, like I said, is to nail it in, um, which is typically what I would do. 
um, of course another way is to use double sided tape so I'm just gonna find a double sided tape first try to tape around it uh, and try to what I call it, try to reinforce this in okay so double sided tape <coughs> then I have that nail I'll show you the nailing process later okay I got some double sided tape from my daughter snap it out of it you wanna stick around the shaft once that is done remove the extra layer by this use the double sided tape without nailing in okay i'm just going to put it in okay um just try to stick around it so again it, it, it does stick but what happens is it will still snap out of it okay so like i said this is just mainly as a base uh what i can also do or what some, some people also do is they will just take an extra loop around it just take this becomes a second reinforcement the base and if you are being lazy and you think this is enough i can assure you that this is definitely not enough to 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 keep it in right so at the end of the day when you want to if you want to use the stick you don't want this to move but when you want to cut your stick you need to get this out easily so there's just a bit of irony uh, behind it okay so once this is done you can see it's a lot more better but it is not perfect so next i need uh, nails i do purchase nails uh, from a long time ago nails that are long enough but not too long because ultimately a nail still has its length so you want to be able to nail it in such that it does not protrude out okay although it might sound very common sense but the nail should not be too long such that it protrudes out i'm just gonna show you how i do it <clears throat> when i do this i will ensure that my kids are not near me i think this one should be good enough it might look dangerous but i've done this a lot of times uh, a mallet so a few knocks if you heard that it, it has already hit the shaft so it has already penetrated through the the cap hit the shaft so there's a few more knocks just to hit it in one two oh okay this one is failed because it's being bent so again that's it there's still the risk of getting injured um so you just have to be a lot more careful when uh, you do this and when I do this <clears throat> fail again continue so that's why you also need a box of nails enough nails yep so I managed to finally hit it in so hit it in all the way but when I hit it all the way I try not to I try not to hit it so hard such that it, it flattens in because in a very event, somehow I need to, uh, let's say I need to cut further. I need to take this nail out. So in order to take this nail out, again, same thing. It's the same old tedious process of digging it out. So I try to just keep it um, relatively flat, but not overly too flat. Okay, so this is one side. In order to ensure that it's stronger, I will do it on both sides. Okay, so this is done. Yep, this is the end product. Uh, next will be the on the oxdog sticks. Oxdog sticks, as mentioned, the the cap. Uh, it was very easy to to be taken out, but in order to put back, now what happens is, you put on the cover, okay, and then you realize, okay, I'm just gonna screw it in. But what happens is, look at that, the the shaft is still there. So you need a hole. You can't just force it in. So what I'll usually do is make use of the same nails that I have. I'll hit it such that there's a bit of hole. Then I'll screw um, it in. So I'm just going to show the process. Same nail. I'm just going to knock it in just to create the hole. Okay. Then I'm going to pluck it out. Um, so a hole is being created from that process. I'm going to do it on both sides. See here, I nearly, basically I just scraped my hand because of that. I'm gonna just lock it in. And screwdriver. And voila. See, that is one side. And then I'm just gonna repeat it on the other side. Okay, so this is for the Oxdog one. Of course, it looks a lot more cleaner, right? Because I do not need the double-sided tape, the tape and whatnot, 
and not that knocking in all the way in terms of the nailing um, so it's a lot more cleaner and sort of a bit more simpler process but again that is also why off stock is so much more popular i'm just going to do up the rest and and the rest is just simply gripping so if you are wondering how to then grip you can just take a look at the next video that's over here the the process of how i grip uh, my floorboard sticks the process of gripping um, and I'll see you in the next one